Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to my favorite fish in the ocean. Drum roll, please. The ocean sunfish, also known as the mola mola. This is one of the coolest fish in the ocean and it's one of my favorites. I wanna explain a little bit about why it's my favorite and introduce you to this insanely unique specimen. These are ocean sunfish and they're one of the coolest looking fish in the entire ocean. Now, mola mola are big, like really big. The biggest one found was around 14 feet from fin to fin and 10 feet long from snout to tail. The heaviest mola mola was around 4,300 pounds, which makes it the heaviest bony fish on the planet already cool enough. But besides the size, the amazing and unique shape of this fish is what makes it so cool to me. It's one that I've always wanted to dive with, never had the opportunity, but it's been on my bucket list forever since I was a little kid and I first saw an ocean sunfish. I thought they were the most unique animals on the planet, but they're really facing a lot of problems right now. One problem that the sunfish faces is that it grows parasites all over its body. It can become so infected that it comes to the surface for birds to land on them and pick off of them. Here's a bird that's literally diving under the water to pick parasites off of an ocean sunfish. They struggle with being slow moving fish, so they accumulate a lot of parasites being as large as they are and as vulnerable as they are with their slow movements. It's such a unique relationship that the birds and the sunfish have created where the sunfish fish will come to the surface it'll let the birds eat the parasite off of them it's so cool it's one of the most unique animal relationships in the animal kingdom same with these fish right here the sunfish is letting the smaller fish eat the parasites the sunfish gets clean the smaller fish get a meal it's a win-win situation so what do ocean sunfish eat you might ask with that low mouth now they mainly feed on jellyfish which has become another problem for the ocean sunfish because it's becoming harder and harder for sunfish to distinguish between jellyfish and plastic bags it's very common that they suffocate on things like plastic bags and plastic pollution which is really why it's important to choose reusable options and choose not to put plastic into the ocean even if you're not doing it directly just cutting down on your consumption can help creatures like the the ocean sunfish thrive and have a healthy and cleaner ocean. It shows that humans can have a bigger impact on the ocean than we really think. We often think of the ocean as this big vast place that doesn't have a huge connection to us. Never underestimate your ability to help the ocean out. We're really more connected than you think. Still, to this day, it's a dream of mine to get in the water with these. Thanks for watching this quick video. This is our animal of the week, Mola Mola, ocean sunfish. Hope you guys liked them. Let me know if you run into one. Peace.